that was intentional <laughs> uh, because uh, the faculty at UCLA, which I was fortunate to <laughs> be a member of, intentionally created this research center with all mm-hmm. these different disciplines and methodological yeah, cool place. experts in it. Very cool one place. of our one of our norms or kind of, uh, you know, uh, our activity setting was if we're sitting around in a meeting or talking about writing something and a person in our group had an important and interesting fact or observation or evidence to bring to the table, you got listened to. Yes. It could be an ethnographic fact. It yep. could be a statistical fact. It could be a uh, survey data result. It could be a comparative um, uh, study that you're using our sample to compare to. So if, if, if you're in the room at the table and you have an interesting piece of data or perspective or theory, people would look around and the first question wasn't, well, was it statistically significant? The first question was, <laughs> oh, that's, my first question. that's, that's interesting. <laughs> And Eli was um, easily socialized into this new easily way of thinking. Softy, <laughs> new way of thinking about uh, methods. And uh, then yes, we, was. for years, we um, we had included in our center a lab specifically to work on integrating many different kinds of data and using it to understand parents and families and yeah, kids yeah. with disabilities and a variety of other topics and. Yeah, yeah. Related to that, and this is more for um, the research and academic uh, listeners, to get it published, to get it out there into conferences and journals and books. And to do that, you very often had to find ways to present the evidence that would meet the standards of whatever yeah. book or journal or and conference we, you were going we, to. Um, there it is in the book title. This this idea of being practical. Sorry, um, we we that's how I learned to do my job at UCLA. It it was a great group. It was wonderful to work in. I mean, yes, it, it was a, a glorious opportunity for me. So thank you to everybody. Um, but I was tasked to get help people get things done, and in working with Tom, it was practical. We had. So tools were practical. If we could find things to do that were effective, and that meant listening to alternative ideas about how to approach it. So let's let's turn to talk to as you just did to the more academic listener, and because we we just started talking about the collaborative environment that you helped create and maintain at UCLA, which I know was tremendously beneficial to the studies that I participated in. Um, and so when we think about the, the services that IMMR can provide and the people who will provide those services, what can we say to them <laughs> um, now and, and share from that history that, become, that was a value and a practice that maybe was put into place in the lab that we would like to see continue on because of, because of the benefits to, to people who receive um, some of that history? Well, one of the uh, great things that uh, Jason and Eli and everybody on the team at Deduce has contributed is to make Deduce useful for a wide range of disciplines, uh, different Mm -hmm. kinds of uh, uses in business, in academia, in services, and many other areas. And we tried to do the same thing uh, in our research center for decades. Um, one of the uh, advantages that we had is um, that we not only had a coherent uh, methodological theory or framework to understand mixed methods, which we wrote about, and we published books on, and we gave talks about it. We also raised money, uh, such as the uh, research lab that Eli was working in, to make it better. And the third was we had results which helped people's careers and jobs. By publishing mixed method research like this, you add value to whatever maybe single method you were using before, Mm -hmm. and you could get that work out into the world and be effective. Uh, And uh, so deduce, I think, has carried that on. Um, 
deduce has proven of value to a lot of different people in their own careers and jobs. Yeah. And uh, uh, that is, that's one lesson from what we did, which is you have, to, you have to have the conceptual framework and then you have to have what Jason and his team offer, which is the technical capacity yeah. to be damn sure that it works and works well. But then you have to be able to get it out into the world. Right. And um, uh, that's what I think uh, I'm uh, very proud of yeah. in Deduce and the whole team at the. Yeah, me at too. Deduce. It, it, it's it's what our industry is as as a scholar, as academic. You you want to um, address problems that you see. Um, you want to find answers, and you want to get those answers listened to. So that's that's the business, and and you know a lot of people get parts of it right. Um, but to get it done, to get the work out there into the hands of people who will benefit from it, published or otherwise, that's, that's what this is all about, both the method and the tools for actually continuing the work and, um, and the framework for thinking about the problems that you're trying to address. So. Also, another thing about the uh, connection between the, the uh, conceptual and theoretical framework of, of uh, mixed methods and also of the ecocultural family interview is that um, it uh, brought people together from different fields. And uh, initially, this is not so easy to do because every discipline has their own <laughs> standards and rules for publication and getting advancement and all those stats courses that uh, Eli had to take Larry, Illinois Larry, and, and, uh, <laughs> and survive. <laughs> That are, are important Sometimes. in establishing sort of a disciplinary identity. But if you talk with people in those fields who are studying a shared topic, such as child development, attachment theory, uh, parenting kids with disabilities, um, uh, low income, working poor families and how to help them. If you talk to people who are really working and experts in those different fields, they'll all <laughs> say over a beer, you know, I wish to hell I knew more about what these parents were really doing. I wish I knew about more about their everyday lives. And I wish I had some comparative data to, to compare all these samples for. So people are ready, if it's, if it's presented in a way that's comfortable for them, to take on interdisciplinary work. And deduce is so valuable to make that happen. The, the, the people in a lot of fields can say, oh, you, you mean you, you have method software to help us do this? And hundreds of articles have been published using that method. Yeah. They're much more likely to adopt that in their own work. And I think that's been a contribution.